Hi everybody! James and Quinn asked me to teach you about what kind of dog I am. Do you know what kind of dog I am? I'm a boxer. Actually, my name is Billy the Boxer. And today, me and some of my friends are going to give you some really cool facts about boxers. Are you ready? Alright, let's go! Some say the reason that we are called boxers is because we sometimes play by standing on our hind legs and boxing with our front paws. So let's begin with how boxers came to be. How about that? Boxers are medium-sized dogs. We belong to the Mollusur group of breeds. We were created during the 19th century in Germany by mixing a now extinct type of mastiff called a Bullenbeiser with an English bulldog. Boxers like me were initially used for fights with other dogs as well as for hunting. And did you know that we were one of the seven dog breeds that were chosen to help the German soldiers during World War I? But because we're so cool, the United States began using us too. We would carry messages and supplies around the battlefields, and we would also help find hurt and wounded soldiers there too. Thanks, Billy. Hi, I'm Betsy the Boxer, and I'm a friend of Billy's and Cadence and Quinn. Did you know a lot of people say that we're very good-looking dogs? What do you think? Do you agree? <laughs> Thanks. Did you know that male boxers can grow to be about 25 inches tall and can weigh about 65 to 80 pounds? That's about 30 to 36 kilograms. And female boxers grow to be about 21 to 25 inches tall and they can weigh 50 to 65 pounds. That's about 22 to 30 kilograms. One thing that we are really known for is the shape of our heads. Our heads are very square shaped. Our jaw is undershot and our muzzles are blunt. Our square head used to help when we were used for hunting. Our square shaped heads allowed us to breathe while we held prey in our mouth until our owners came to get it from us. And when it comes to our body, we have a very strong back and a very deep chest. One thing that we're known for is our ears. Normally, our ears hang naturally and they're floppy. But traditionally, our ears have been cropped to stand up straight. Doing this to our ears started when we were used for hunting. They would crop our ears and also make our tail shorter so that wild animals could not get a hold of us while we were hunting. Fortunately, this doesn't happen that often anymore. I actually like my big floppy ears. And our fur is short and shed sometimes. Some of us are a rich fawn color and others are brindle. Brindle means that we kind of look like we have stripes or dots on our fur too. And our face or our mask is usually brown or dark brown. But many have white face markings and white on our chest and paws. And when people talk about our fur, you will hear it called fawn, brindle, or white. Oh, thanks, Betsy. I didn't even realize it was already my turn. Hi, I'm Billy the Boxer. We're intelligent, full of energy, and playful dogs that like to stay busy. We are also very smart and have an above average IQ. Actually, do you know who is also very smart like boxers? German Shepherds. Click the i card above and my friend Jeffrey the German Shepherd can teach you all about German Shepherds too. Did you know that we're also extremely athletic? And while we love to exercise and play, we also like to lay down and get cozy on the couch. We're often referred to as the Peter Pan of dog breeds. That's because we act like puppies our entire lives. Hey, thanks a lot, Bailey. Uh, I guess it's my turn now. Hi, I'm Bobby, Bobby the Boxer. And even though our history says that we were powerful hunters back in the day, we still now have tremendous love for our humans. And we want to be loved back too. And we'll show you how much we love you when we're all together. Did you know that we're actually happiest when we are all with our family? We are very protective and also patient with children. 
we make the perfect family dog. And we love making friends, and that's because we're super curious and love to explore. And we might look scary, but don't worry, we're not. We usually never even bark unless there's a reason to. And with our love for humans and our intelligence, we are often used as guide dogs for the blind, therapy dogs, and even used as alert dogs for people who suffer from epilepsy. We can alert them to an upcoming seizure before it even happens. And want to know something funny about us, boxers? The record for the longest tongue on a dog belonged to a boxer, a boxer named Brandy. Her record-breaking tongue spanned an impressive 17 inches, or 43 centimeters. That's a long tongue. Well, that's about it for me. I know that Bailey, Billy, and Betsy are all waiting for me to go outside and play. So we sure hope that you learned something new today. And if you did, make sure you sub, smash, and ring that bell notification. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Woof, woof.